Hello there. Welcome to Positivity. Today I am having Thai tea. Um, thai tea is one of my favorites. I don't have it uh, really, really often. I shouldn't say that. I had it twice yesterday. <laughs> um, it does have caffeine in it, so you have to be mindful of that. And depending on the type you get, it will also have sugar in it. Um, as many of you know, I am vegan and I don't partake of any dairy. Um, so if you're going out somewhere, let's say to like locally, you guys know, um, Nai Thai, um, they have that new tiger milk place right next door. Um, if you get it from there, it could have, uh, it has regular 2% milk in it and it can have, um, sweetened condensed milk in it. Um, so you want to order it with a plant milk, um, to avoid all the nasty repercussions that come along with drinking cow's milk. Um, but yeah, it's very, very tasty. They have um, boxes of tea that you can buy there in the shop um, and bring it home and make yourself. Um, and that is the reason why I'm probably jacked up on caffeine <laughs> um, because I've had so many cups of tea um, the past couple of days. Um, I like it hot, um, but you can drink it iced as well and that's their traditional way of having it. Um, so if you haven't tried a different type of tea, if you haven't tried something new, I recommend you know, branching out a little bit, find something interesting. Some of my favorites um, include green, black, and red. Those teas are all fabulous. And, and um, then there's oolong, and oolong is a, a great version. Jasmine tea is like a white tea. Um, that's a good tea as well. Um, one of my favorites, of course, is this Thai tea. Um, and the Rubios is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, remember to read all of the possible uh, side effects or complications if you do any other herbal remedies. Um, and yeah, let's just enjoy our tea for a moment. So as I mentioned yesterday, I'm currently working on an expansion or a supplemental deck to the, uh, tor or to the Crossroads Oracle that I um, created during my uh, Torchbearer phase. Um, so this one is going to uh, expand the deck. There will be uh, more epithets. There will be some mystical items um, uh, and then some wisdom items. So if I scroll, let me just go and look at what I'm calling them. Oh, I've got, I'm going to have an energy, um, an energy suit, mystery suit, and then I'm going to expand the um, epitaph suit. So I'm going to have things like Hecate Angelos, Hecate Pratiana, um, Hecate Lampodius, um, and I'm butchering those words, so please bear with me. <laughs> um, but I am working on getting the imagery for those now. Um, this will be, it'll fall in the same line with my other work as far as being AI assisted. And um, I know that's a hot topic for many, but you know, I feel that it that using AI in art is a way of breaking barriers. Um, it allows those of us who are more introverted and who are not as um, able, whether it be through gatekeeping, through financial blocks, through paywalls, whatever, um, not able to have access to some of those higher end uh, art options, including hiring an artist. Um, I think that uh, it's a great way for those of us who don't have those means to make strides in what we want to accomplish in our creative aspects. So look for that coming soon. Um, all right, let, let's pull a card. Just sitting here chit-chatting and carrying on. Um, so let me just set this down. Maybe. Trust me, this stuff is very addictive. Check it out if you haven't. We're going to pull a card from the River Witch Oracle today. Um, the River Witch Oracle is a deck that I created. It is uh, focused on the magic of a melding of cultures from the uh, indigenous um, people who lived here prior to colonization, um, as well as the magic of the those uh, Africans who were pulled from their homes and forced into slavery to help build the United States. So we're gonna pull our card and let's see what we got. The quilt. I'm going to hold this up for you to see. And the quilt is, has uh, its three words, which are community, creativity, and stories woven through time. So I'm not sure how many of you um, have 
uh, a grandmother that uh, made quilts. Uh, my grandmother made everything. She made the clothes that my aunts wore. She made um, blankets and crocheted afghans and all sorts of things. Um, and a lot of times the quilts were made with leftover fabric. So I would often look at a quilt and I would see, you know, a shirt that my mother wore, a pair of pants that my uh, one of my aunts wore, or maybe an overalls from my uncle. All of these things were leftover items. They were left in place and then added to the quilt to create this story. You know, this entire story of, um, of life, you know, as they just went through life. It's sort of like the button drawer when you pulled open the sewing machine and it had all these buttons inside of it. And you could spot this button came from this shirt or this button came from that. So what we're talking about when we see this card is a melding together of stories, be it your immediate family stories, your neighbor stories, how you relate with one another, all of that information brought together into one location. It is our stories, it is our history. It is understanding the, the people who lived here before you, who lived on this land, who cultivated this land, who lost this land. Um, it is understanding how you relate and how their energy in this land comes through today. Um, on on the Friday, my talk is going to be about, uh, I see dead people, right? So um, it's we're going to be talking about that energy and if there is the ability to talk to people who have passed on. Um, I am a firm believer that you can interact with the energies of those who may be still here. Um, and I, when I say still here, I mean that residual energy, that haunting that is still with us. This is a way that you can connect with that energy as well. Bring in those people, bring in that energy, and, and cherish those connections that you have. So that's our reading for today. That is the quilt card. I'm going to hold it up for you one more time. How do you feel about this? What do you think? Does, does your grandmother make quilts? Did she make quilts? How was that conversation handed down through your family? Um, let's talk about it a little bit. Leave your comments in the chat. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope to hear from you soon. If you haven't so far, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get an update each time I post a new reading. Have a glorious Sunday and I'll speak with you soon.